Right, welcome back guys. Where were we? We made another jigsaw puzzle, didn't we? So, last time we left all these and we painted them all, ready to go in. So what we're going to do is put the saw boards down that we painted now, then we can walk on them. Gemma's currently removing our fish finder. why it's not going to come through that hole because the end on it is too big to get through that hole full of wires let's go and have a look upstairs so we've done the sole now all well, that's all painted and in and beautiful you can walk across it so if you remember we made these pieces here which are going to go to sandwich the fuel tank bearer so let's get stuck straight in and get them fitted Right, so there's one side on. Yeah, good glue. Nice and strong. Right, let's put the other side on now, and then we, we can then match the plywood then to the, the actual beam, can't we? Because it's slightly high. Okay, that's all together now. Lots of screws and glue. Right, let's get the router out and fix this lip. Right, there you go, it's all nice and level now. Plywood, ever so slightly low here, but it doesn't really matter. Right then, we need to make some battens. So we're going to start with one, two, and three. And then we'll work out the walls once we've got them in. So we've already got our meter stick. So, what's that? 14, two, five, we'll cut that.
So I'll just put some temporary screws in it for now, just to hold position, because obviously we need to set the height of this in relationship to this, because our battens are going to be coming out this way, aren't they? So on the other side, I actually set them ever so slightly too low, so doing it slightly different this time. So yeah. So now what we need to do is drill for the big M10 bolts that are going to go all the way through. And once that's drilled, then we'll take them back off, we'll glue them. I've decided not to prime them at the moment because of the glue will stick better and the paint won't go off at all. Um, I want to get this done today, so. Um, but I think once it's got all the, the glue behind it, that's like the paint in that seal in it, so. Right, time to make some bolts. It's like a rerun this, isn't it? From the starboard side. Anyway, got made of bolts. So, what we did last time, if you remember, we put, put a mark from there to there, cut them. Simple, you've probably seen all this already. Right, so it's all dry fit now with temporary screws in it. So let's pull these temporary screws and we'll fire our, fire our new bolts through and we'll put loads of glue behind it to seal it all off. Perfect amount of ooze there, I think. Right, now these are screwed in. What we need to do now is work out on our battens going across. So I'll take some measurements for them, we'll cut them, and then we'll put them in. I think I'll do these slightly different on this side, and because of the because of all of this, I might just put a batten across here. Uh, I think the inverters are gonna go here and stuff like that, and it'll allow a bit more ventilation anyway from the build, so. Right, they're all cut now, so let's get them fitted. So the next one is going to go along this bulkhead here, but we've got a wire in the way, so we need to move that wire so that we can fix it against the bulkhead and go all the way along. So let's go and try and find out where this wire goes. So I think it's this one here. So it's that one there. Going up, going up, going up, then it goes into here. So it goes into this plug socket. So we are working with mains voltage, so easy on this boat, because we've got DC circuits. I'll just turn all the AC off, and then we'll take that apart, reroute the wire and put it back in, hopefully. They're all tinned, that's a bonus, isn't it? Right, 
now. So I've rerouted it into that one from one around here. That got all covered in the engine room. So it went early, went through that one, down into the bilge, along there and up. So for now, we're just going to go from there all the way along and up through that already made hole there. Right, so we've got all the structure in now. So I didn't I didn't film all the other bits, you've seen all before on the other side, haven't you? Right, so should we see if the template fits that we made for the other side that we made the other sole for? That'd be great, wouldn't it, if that fits? Don't think it will fit perfectly, but it'll get us close, wouldn't it? No. Okay, so it looks like the web frames a lot further forward on this side than they are on the starboard side. Right, so I've cut all the marine ply one now. Should we see if it fits in the hole? Right, so yeah, I've not put it in this corner here because obviously it wouldn't, it'd be a nightmare to get it in, but this can just be a fixed piece. And then the rest of it fits really, 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 really well. So I'll go and make this one off camera, see if that fits, then we'll epoxy all the edges. Right, so give these a very quick, oh, give these an epoxy, seal all the end grain so the moisture getting in, and when this is dry then we can... Right, so the epoxy's gone off now, so we'll give these a quick sand and then give them a paint I think. Right, we'll leave them to dry now by the radiator. Hopefully, a couple of hours be dry, and then we can fit them. I've got another quick job to do while the paint's drying. Gemma started to unwire the the fish finder from the eighties, and she got the wire to down here, but the plug is too big to go through the hole. So I've got a solution. Well, solution one is I would just cut the end off it. Aces technology, don't really need it, but where we are, it'd be very, very difficult to change the through hole, so we might end up having to use that for our depth. So, got another solution. So, the solution is, is the hole saw next to it, right next to all the wires. There's no mains cables there, and everything's technically turned off at the moment because they're supplied from the engine and then them isolators are off. All right, let's see if we can use this hole saw 
to not cut through the wires. What do you think? I think I missed all the critical wires, which is good. Right, this one's dry now. They've been by the radiator for a couple of hours, so... That's dry, so should we go and fit them? And then we'll... There's some more pieces that we need to make to complete the floor. Not bad, what do you think? It's amazingly big this room. It's like one, two, three very large strides. I'll measure it in a minute. Right, what we need to do now is we need to make a an infill piece for here, infill piece for there, because we left that short so we can get this board in and out relatively, relatively easy. And just whiz over here, need another piece to go in there. Because we only use like the four foot length for the boards. Because if we started going exceeding four foot, then we'd use like a full sheet for that basically, and it just didn't make sense. Uh, 70 by 470. When it wants a 45 degree angle there. Let's see if one of them fits. Beautiful. No, yeah, maybe a bit, bit too tight. I might want to take a skim off it actually. Because that might just make it awkward to get this piece in and out. This one. So yeah, we will take take like three or four mil off that. Because by the time it's got the epoxy on it as well. Right, let's try and get these walls to fit. Really, my best work, but nice little gap. So, after we epoxy there, hopefully, I'll build it up. But we want the balls to move a bit anyway. That's my excuse. We want the balls to move, and you get to get them in and out, in and out easy. And this isn't the finished floor, uh, we don't actually know what's properly going on the floor yet. But um, it's very strong at the moment 18 mil marine plane. So, right, let's do the other ones. Right, so we may as well give it all a paint because we've painted the underside of these of these sole boards, but we may as well paint the tops when it's in position. Uh, it's not the final paint job; it's going to give it another quick prime. Um, I might I might give these another another blast. Uh, I don't think you can have too much paint on. Well, maybe you can. I don't know until it's that thick. Right, let's give it a quick sand and then um, then a quick paint. <laughs>
We'll check that out. It's all in paint now. It's really nice when you put something in paint because it means it's like it's finished. Actually, it doesn't mean it's finished. There's actually a lot of work to do still behind the scenes. Well, underneath, we've still got to paint all the bilge. Um, there's a few little, little, little repairs we need to do. Um, trying, trying to think of what else. Basically, get it ready for paint below, down below. But yeah, I'm well impressed. It's nice and sturdy as well. It's nice and wide. I did say to you before that I was going to measure it. And I didn't measure it and I can't measure it now. I've just painted it, so. Um, one last problem. I need to go and turn the AC off. Because um, that's what is running that light there. But I wanted to run that light so I can see what I'm doing. And also like show you guys when I finish. So, right, let's go and try and turn the AC off. Good size room there, isn't it? So as well, just what we so we've still got the got that web frame to do, that web frame to do, there's a frame there, and there's like a, a piece in the corner there which is still broken, so we've still got that to do in the room. Um we've still got to decide what we're doing with this wall, what we need to like do a lot more prep on it or do we paint it? I don't know. There's a few little bits missing at the top, sort of old old repairs and stuff, but it'd be nice, it'd be nice to keep it all like wooden, get it a lot nicer than this one. Um, what colour do you think we should paint the room? I'm going to say white, it's going to be relatively clean in there, so it'll stay clean if it's white. But yeah, and all of our all of our electric stuff is going to go here, I think, now. And then as I said, we're going to put the batteries sort of down there, maybe. Have we put them down there or down there? So we have it, if you put them there, we'll have, to, we'll have to mirror it like the side, or we'll just put them in the center. I think the center's probably better, it keeps like the center gravity, well, it actually keeps everything in the center, doesn't it, basically? But if we can get them low, um, pe people are panicking a bit about having batteries in the bilge, but you've got to think these bilges are like three foot deep, so they're only going to be just sort of below the floor, aren't they? Doing, you, know I mean? um, you want to keep them because there is a lot of weight, it's probably like. 300 kilos of batteries, so if you can keep them as low as you can, then it frees up space in the engine room then as well. Right, let's turn this AC off. I'm going to have to do a Spider Man. Just don't want to touch the floor. I know it's way good as well, but you can't hear that. All I've got to do now is get back, turn that off. Yes. Right, it's going dark outside now, so. Thank you so much for watching. I think this might be coming out between Christmas and New Year. I'm not, I'm not that, you know me, I'm not that clued up with when these videos are coming out, but if it is, hopefully you've had a nice Christmas and have a very happy New Year. Thanks guys. Thank you to all the patrons and everyone who supports us as well, all the donations. Without you guys, seriously, seriously, we couldn't do this. Thank you so much. Bye bye.